So uh, this one says, which of the following of these, and there may be more than one, can make hydrogen bonds with water? Okay. So in order to do this, you really want to know what the molecular formula of these things are. Okay. First thing we got to know is about hydrogen bonds, right? We need hydrogen in the actual um, uh, structure, or we need an electronegative atom. Okay, one of those strong electronegative atoms. So which ones were those? Do you guys remember? Oxygen. Oxygen would be one. What were the other two? Nitrogen and fluorine. Okay. So do you see any of these things that don't either have a hydrogen or an oxygen, fluorine, or nitrogen? Sorry. Yeah, that Na plus. So already we can get rid of that. So, um, when we look at uh, these molecules, let's now, the other four, let's expand their structures to see what their actual structures look like, okay? So, this thing is called dimethyl ether. I'm sure you've seen the video by now of how to build this, so. I'm not going to bore you with all the details. We're just going to do Lewis structures for it right now. This one's methane, and I know same thing. Okay, fluorine, diatomic. Like that. And um, formic acid. This is the stuff. That one ants by the steam. So is everybody okay with those structures there? So, in order to form hydrogen bonds with water, right, I have to, if I'm a molecule, have uh, either lone pairs on me or hydrogens that are bonded to one of those three electronegative atoms, okay? Do I see any of these four molecules that don't have one of those two characteristics? So I either have to have a lone pair or hydrogens that are bonded to one of those three electronegative atoms. Yep, CH4 is now out, right? So, also remember um, that hydrogen bonding is a form of a super dipole-dipole interaction. So it's like a real strong dipole-dipole interaction. So to have a dipole, right, um, what kind of molecule do I have to be? Do you guys remember? A polar molecule, right? So, do we see any molecules that up there uh, up there that aren't polar molecules? Yeah, F two, right? So that one's now out of the run. Okay. So, hopefully, we see now. I have two molecules up there that have either a atom, one of those three atoms with a lone pair on it. Okay, or one of those three atoms that's attached to a hydrogen. Okay, this one also has a lone pair. Okay, in a lot of places. Okay, so what I'm going to do is erase everything up here except for those two molecules, formic acid and dimethyl ether. Is that okay with everybody? Everybody follow my logic?
everybody's okay with that, right? So, if we remember, the electronegative atom that has a lone pair can only accept a hydrogen bond, because it doesn't have a hydrogen directly attached to that electronegative atom, okay? So this here, this molecule here, since it's got that oxygen with two lone pairs, we can say, or we will say, that it could make two hydrogen bonds with water, okay? But it can only accept hydrogen bonds from water, okay? So like that. So this, these lone pairs, are actually called hydrogen bond acceptors, okay? <coughs> So, in fact, this has two hydrogen bond acceptors. Is everybody okay with that? No donors, okay? So it doesn't have any hydrogen bond donors. Why? Because to be a donor, I have to have a, one of those electronegative atoms attached to a hydrogen, and I don't have that here. Of course, with water, it's got a donor. It's got two donors and two acceptors. Does everybody see that? So let's go over here to formic acid, and let's look at this top O. Does it have any um, acceptors? How many does it have? Two, right? How many donors does it have? None. This top oxygen, just the top oxygen, okay? Zero, right? Because it's only got the um, electron pairs. In fact, let's make it look more like Vesper theory, because we know that's an sp2 oxygen there. So we'll just show the two acceptors, okay? And I'll draw water in such a way to make it show that it's accepting those hydrogen bonds. Down here, do we have any acceptors on this oxygen? How many? Two. Two. Very good. Same thing. Okay. <coughs> Remember what we said about hydrogen bonds? They have to be in line. That's why I'm drawing them like that. The three atoms in one. Okay? One, two, three atoms in one. One, two, three atoms in one. Okay? One, two, three atoms in one. Okay, I'm doing it on purpose. Like that. Okay, so two more acceptors. Let's identify these. Because it's got both donors and acceptors. 
This one only got acceptors, so it can't make hydrogen bonds with itself, but it can make with water. Any questions about that? Okay, cool.